Getting the proper mix you need for a given application can be a challenge. Requirements can vary from stamping and staining to overlay and topping mixes. Learning to adjust the mix to meet a specific situation is one of those things that comes with experience and probably a few mistakes. ConcreteNetwork.com has provided a detailed overview of decorative concrete mix design. On stain jobs, for example, you may or may not have any influence over the base concrete. If you do, a low shrinkage, durable slab mix is the primary goal. For stamping, aggregate size is important in controlling shrinkage, and the larger the aggregate, the better. You'll need some paste at the surface to get a clean, sharp stamp. With toppings, you can only hope that you're starting with a floor that will properly support the overlay. The biggest thing to watch out for from the substrate is moisture transmission.